Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is uh, talk to you about the relationship between A, B, and C of an ellipse. Now, when we're looking at an ellipse here, let's just look at one that's a horizontal one, OK? Now remember, ooh, that one's a little rough, isn't it? Now remember, we have C is the center, right? Center. And here is my covertice, where here is going to be B. Now, well, actually, let me. From the distance from my center to my foci is C. And the distance from my center to my vertice is A, right? OK, so I'm not going to go and redo those points. But that's my covertice. Um, here is my foci, and there is my vertice. Now, what is the relationship between, um, between any two points? Well, basically, ladies and gentlemen, to kind of understand that, we also have to understand the definition of an ellipse. The definition of ellipse states that if here is your two foci, any point on my ellipse, the sum of the distance to each um, foci from any point is always going to be equal. So d1 plus d2 is going to be equal for any point. Now, that means it doesn't matter for any point. I could even have the points over here, right? I could even have the point on the x-axis. Now, if the point is on the x-axis, let's try to see what that would represent. Well, if I have my point here, right? basically, it's going to be equal distance to my two foci, which means I'm going to have the distance here. So from here to this foci would be um, a minus c, plus the distance from here to here would be a plus c. And that equals the sum of the two distances in there. So a, uh, a plus a in, and negative c plus c is going to equal 2a. So therefore, d1 plus d2 is equal to 2a. Remember what I said. It doesn't matter where the point is. Anywhere, the sum of the distances to the two foci is always going to be equal. So if I write, if I do this point, you know, boom, boom, this point, boom, boom, this point, boom, boom. Well, this point, that's from there to there, as well as from there to there. So the distance from here to here is a minus c. And then from here is a plus c. So you can see that that sum is equal to 2a. And that's very, very important. Because now, let's go and take a look at. Let's pretend here we know that this distance is b, right? And this distance is c. So you have two of them, right? Well, let's just focus on one length here. And if I wanted to find the length of this, um, remember, we have two lengths. Well, if I just wanted to find the length of this, we could say that this is b squared, uh, or the square root of b squared plus c squared, right? Now, remember, b squared plus c squared, you have two of these. You have that over there as well as over here, square root of b squared plus c squared. right? You have two of them. Well, just one length, If just like I stated, if the sum of your two distances is 2a, well, then half of them would just be a. So I can say the square root of b squared plus c squared is equal to just a, right? because two of them would be equal to 2a. So now, when I go ahead and solve for this, I square both sides, and I get b squared plus c squared is equal to a squared. Subtract b squared on both sides, and you get c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Therefore, now showing you why the relationship between a, b, and c is a squared minus b squared equals c squared. Thanks.